Gemini. Welcome to the Violet Realm. My name's Amy and I'm one half of the Violet Realm. I'm the mom half. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Today I'm doing a general reading for Gemini um, for November. So uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, we do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is in the description box below. So big shout out to all the Geminis who have subscribed. I love you guys. I really appreciate it. And um, I look forward to bringing you more videos. Oops, I popped the deck. Okay. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini. I'm feeling a, kind of a, a happy-go-lucky but kind of frenzied energy with you. I don't know if you've met someone or if you're thinking of someone. Wow, what is going on, Gemini? <laughs> Have you met your person? Is that what this is? I feel very excited. Uh, by November. Um, all right. And let's take one on the bottom. Okay. Uh, it feels like love. Uh, this may very well be an hour of reading. I'm feeling a lot of love for Gemini. Um, coming from outside. So this is, this is a person. This is, this is not an inner, uh, construct. This is somebody. This is probably going to be a love reading for you guys. So, if you resonate with that, then this is for you. All right. Can I get two more, please? Uh, you want me to take that one? This one? Okay. I'm good. All right. We did five. Okay. All right. Um, it feels big. So I feel like this is an important uh, relationship that's coming forward. They want to talk about. Okay. We're going to take three of those. Okay. Uh, it's important. Um, it feels new. It just it does. It feels new. It feels like new love for you in November. Yeah. Um, you know, this may not resonate for everyone, but that's what's coming through. And I haven't even looked at the cards yet. So it, it, it feels like a love reading. I'm getting quite a few more cards than I did for Aquarius. So this is exciting. I never know what's going to come forward. So, let's see here. Okay. The Queen of the Outsiders. Let's go to the Oracle first. Surrender. Drive. Nurture. <clears throat> I'm getting a song in my head. I'm gonna love you, come rain or shine. I, I don't sing, so I'm not gonna sing it to you, but that's the song that's in my head. Aquarius, I know. Universal love, 44, that's a master number. Wow. Um, Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. Two of Cups. Six of Wands, that's the victory card for me. And uh, da a Justice. <laughs> wow, you guys. So this is an important uh, soulmate level connection. This may be Twin Flame for some of you. Um, we have the Three of Swords here, Lord of Sorrow. Uh, I think this person right now <clears throat> uh, is really going through a lot. They're letting um, a lot of things go. They're pulling out some of their own swords. This may be you, but one of you or both of you are definitely going through a time of having to really let go of something that's been incredibly painful. And it feels like a relationship. It feels like um, something you really wanted with this Knight of Wands. It was something you really wanted. It's something you had a lot of passion for. And um, it just didn't work. And we tried. I'm here. We tried. I think they feel really bad about it. I think they feel really bad that they couldn't make this work, Gemini. And, uh, you know, I, this feels very much like a new person. But there are going to be a few of you that this is someone from the past, okay? And, and I hate to throw both scenarios out there, you know, but it's just what I feel. So we're just, you know, that's what we're here for, right? Um, yeah, uh, this... Uh, 
queen of the outsiders, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Okay, so this is a message uh, I'm getting from this person for you. Okay, so it's like a channeled message from your person. Um, they are going to be different from anyone you've ever dated before, Gemini. And um, there is a, a healing energy about them with this universal love. They have this kind of big well of compassion in their heart chakra. They're very giving and they will give to you, Gemini, in ways that will heal you and um, they'll have a need to nurture you as well. They may even take on a role that helps heal your relationships with your family, your, your parents, some of the issues they may have had as a child. Um, they will help with that. They'll help you feel safe. Uh, I'm feeling something about your root chakra in November. Uh, maybe you need to ground that more and uh, really work on healing that. Um, a lot of times when our root chakra is uh, out of alignment or uh, needs some healing, we pull uh, people to us that make us feel unsafe or we get ourselves in situations that we feel unsafe because for a lot of people who have been through trauma, that feel, that's a level of normal a little bit. It's, and I speak as someone who's been through that kind of stuff. So um, that living in that constant state of, of hypervigilance, ready for the next shoe to drop, um, becomes a normal state. And this person will come in and help heal and bring calm to your life. That's how you know this is your person. I'm hearing that's how you know this is this person. This person that I am specifically getting intuitive hits on is a, a calm person but is very driven okay they're very driven Aquarius I know they may be Aquarian uh, they may have a lot of Aquarius in their chart the Aquarius reading may have something there for you as well but um this person is very driven they think outside the box they are they are completely different um probably than you would even consider there's something about them that is um you want to go towards it, but yet you're scared of it. They're that kind of different from you, okay? Um, it's like opposites attract kind of energy here. Um, with the Two of Cups, with Justice, and Victory, all right? So this is, I'm feeling this is good karma coming to you in November with this person. Um, really beautiful energy between you two. Um, I do feel that root chakra is um, something that you need to work on, balancing out. It's not okay to live your life uh, always waiting for the next shoe to drop, okay? I live that way. I understand how difficult it is, okay? But there are things you can do and research that, um, take what resonates. But there are things you can do to help calm yourself and understand that, uh, Things aren't going to fall apart every minute. Like, you don't have to be afraid that every minute something's going to happen, right? It's okay to relax. That's what this energy is from this person. They're going to help you relax. They're going to help you calm down. They're going to help you know that it's okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, it's very reassuring. It's very reassuring. Soul craft. We're going to get the three off the top. Healing, yes. And meditation. All right, so... Little advice here for November is um, know that what you're going through in November is helping you align with this energy of this really beautiful person trying to come through for you. Okay, um, know that whatever November brings, there is a higher wisdom coming through that. Okay, and it's to help you get in alignment with your person. All right. And they're going through it, or you're going, one of you or both of you are having to let go of some things in November. And uh, it may be a realization that you, in November you have that, that some of the things you're, not some of the things, some of the people in your life aren't working anymore. So um, then we have meditation and healing. So it's time in November that you really get quiet. You start to kind of um, quiet your mind. And meditation can take on many forms. You don't have to sit with your legs crossed, you know, chanting a mantra, okay? For some people, meditation is walking or cooking. For other people, it's running. 
it's physical activity. It's, um, it's, uh, for others, it's, you know, sitting and being quiet and crossing your legs and doing a mantra. So you do, you find what works for you. And for some people, uh, it helps to change it up. Like some people, especially, um, Gemini energy, I, it may suit you to have different practices you do, you start doing on a regular basis. And then at times where you have these energies, these big energies coming towards you and you feel it, you can go and, and uh, do the activity you feel drawn to do, all right? So it gives you choice. It helps with the Gemini energy, the, the moving energy that I feel within Gemini. It helps with that placement. So I uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys for November. Um, I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I hope you have a great November. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.